Hello, welcome to The Update. I'm Abby Smith. A 45-year-old man is in police custody after a dramatic incident on board a Malaysian Airlines flight. It was forced back to Sydney after the man allegedly threatened crew and passengers with claims of a bomb in his bag. Police stormed the plane after a three-hour siege. Passenger Kira Burrow says the crew handled the situation extremely well. The staff were incredible. The Malaysian Airlines staff obviously didn't want to say anything to stress anyone out, trying to keep everyone calm. We had to sit on the aircraft for way too long in my personal opinion but yeah it was a not knowing that was really stressful. A search effort has been launched to find four Australians missing off the west coast of Indonesia. They'd been on a 30th birthday surfing trip when their boat hit rough waters on Sunday night. The cost of insurance has surged nearly 30% in the year to March. Federal Treasurer Jim Chalmers says they're looking at ways to tackle the issue. We don't want people getting out of insurance uh, because of their other cost of living pressure. Uh, And when it comes to uh, some of the pressures which are on premiums right around Australia, we also are investing more money in mitigation. The Prime Minister says Labor must be a long-term government to achieve lasting reforms. Anthony Albanese will outline the party's achievements at its national conference later this week. The event will shape the federal government's policy agenda for years to come. Meantime, former Labor leader Mark Latham has been ousted as leader of the New South Wales One Nation Party. He's been booted by Pauline Hanson but claims he's been denied due process. To overseas, the death toll from the Hawaiian wildfires has risen to 96, with the governor warning the number will rise. Recovery crews with cadaver dogs are combing through burnt-out homes and cars, which have been decimated. Governor Josh Green says the death toll could rise by up to 20 people per day. It's going to rise. It will certainly be the, the worst natural disaster Hawaii ever faced. It may be the worst fire that America ever faced by the time it's done. And the woman who cooked a deadly lunch which killed three people has released a statement giving her side of the story. Erin Patterson claims she's bought some of the mushrooms at an Asian grocery store, but she can't remember the name of it. Entertainment and sport next. Matilda's midfielder Tamika Yallop says they're not ready for their World Cup journey to end. She says they still have more to give. It's been a long journey for us and we're all still focused um, on that journey and, and we don't want it to end and, until the very, very last whistle. The Matildas will take on England in the World Cup semi-final tomorrow night. To footy, Damien Hardwick is expected to be named as the new coach of the Suns next week. It's believed he's agreed to a five-year deal to coach on the coast, the signing to be announced when he returns from an overseas holiday. Meanwhile, the Blues could be boosted by the return of Harry McKay for Saturday's game against the Suns. He's still on track to make a surprise return from meniscus surgery, while Jack Silvani could also make an injury comeback on the Gold Coast. Still with footy, and Port Adelaide is also expected to announce Ken Hinckley as its coach for the next two years today. Switching codes to the NRL and Panthers coach Ivan Cleary has made his pitch to keep Jerome Luai at the club. He becomes a free agent in November. And in basketball, a big win to the Boomers in a World Cup warm-up match last night. They beat Venezuela 97-41. Josh Giddy starred with 14 points and 8 rebounds. In entertainment news, the football player who inspired the hit movie The Blind Side is taking his former family to court. Michael Ower claims Sean and Leanne Tui exploited him for his talent and never actually adopted him. The 37-year-old claims he's been under a conservatorship instead and has asked the judge to end it. A surprise for Jonas Brothers fans in New York. The crowd was treated to a surprise karaoke performance from talk show host Jimmy Fallon, who showed up equipped with his own boombox. And the county of Maui has cleared up claims Oprah was turned away when she visited a shelter for wildfire survivors, saying her camera crew were asked to wait outside instead. And that's the latest from the Nova podcast team. We'll see you this afternoon for another episode of The Update.